And I actually grew up around astronauts. Uh, my dad worked for North American Aviation as a tech rep, and a lot of his work was done at uh, Patuxent River Naval Air Station, and that's where all the earlier Marine and Navy astronauts were as test pilots. So uh, guys in my neighborhood were John Glenn, John Young, Alan Bean. So, but at that time, you know, they were just Navy pilots and they were just neighbors. Alan Bean, a uh, young Navy pilot, he had gone to college on a gymnastics scholarship. So on Saturday mornings, he taught gymnastics to any of the local kids who wanted to come there to the gym. John Young lived right down the street, so he would put on parties and I would go down there, my friend and I, and uh, help him cook lobsters to serve his guests and that so he could entertain the guests. Eventually, my dad came down here in the Apollo program in 1965. I was still in high school, so I came with him and then uh, after high school went in the military. So I was a, uh, acquainted with the space program, knew quite a bit about the Apollo from, from what he would come home and talk about and just being you know, a local resident here. But uh, the opening came up and they had a, a big need for a lot of people to work on the shuttle program, especially to finish building Columbia and getting it ready for that first flight. This is Terry White telling you one of my untold stories from the Rocket Ranch.